Well, good morning, friends, and thank you for joining me for another What I Eat in a Day as a Vegan on Slimming World. If you're new, my name's Leanne. Thanks for joining me. And if you're coming back, as always, thanks ever so much for doing so. Today is Sunday. Firstly, sorry for not posting yesterday. Uh, the day just ran away with me. And let me just show you the sum total of the footage that I took yesterday. So that was the um, usual, <laughs> uh, or has become usual, um, vegan cheese and mushroom and tarragon toasty from a local cafe uh, that me and mum seem to have got a bit in the habit of getting when we're doing the market. Um, we had one each yesterday, turned out to be way too much, it was very filling, and also they left out the tarragon, and also they didn't do it for us as a breakfast item. We had to wait till half 11 when they started serving lunch. Then they included the salad, charged us full price. It was all very annoying. Anyway, it was still delicious, but it did annoy us a little bit. Anyway, so, um, not that we mind paying full price. It's just that usually they, they knock a little bit off because it's takeaway and because um, we're not having like the trimmings. But anyway, moving on. So as you can see behind me, I've got some stuff laid out and we're gonna do just a really small amount of prep and make my lunch at the same time. That's right, lunch. All I've had today is one coffee with 100 mils of Alper Almond Barista. I will be having a second one, um, as usual, <laughs> um, but I haven't had it yet. Um, but I really need some food and, you know, you know me, I wait till I'm absolutely starving hungry and then I eat and then I'm like, oh no, now it's too late to do anything. So I'm going to make my lunch and then while it's kind of cooking, um, I'm just going to quickly prep stuff for um, dinner and also breakfast tomorrow. I'm really sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background. Um, I just couldn't wait any longer to do this. And it is still going. So lunch today, I'm actually gonna make myself a stir fry, which is quite unusual, but I'm really hungry. And this was quite a good low sin uh, thing to do. So for lunch, we're gonna do two packs of stir fry veg. As you guys know, this is my favorite one. It's the Sainsbury's um baby rainbow vegetables i think it's called baby vegetable stir fry there we go got some smoked tofu to go with that and a packet of jasmine rice which is one and a half sins all of the tofu and the veg sin free of course um and then i'll probably just add a, like a little bit of oil or something when i say prep breakfast for tomorrow i literally just mean i'm going to chop up my bacon and mushrooms so that um i'm organized in the morning and then these vegetables in the front here, I'm just gonna quickly chop so that they're ready for roasting later because we're gonna try and make like a, um, I don't know what it's called, it's a gratin. It, basically, I saw something on the Slimming World app and I've kind of had it in my head since and then I haven't looked since, so I'm probably making it up completely, but I've kind of had it in my head, so I wanna make it. So we're just gonna chop up these veg and that's gonna save us a little bit of time later on today and encourage me to actually make a proper dinner. <laughs> Um, because again, I always wait till I'm starving hungry and then I'm like, oh my God, what can I just grab that's quick? So we're trying to combat that. So let's see what happens. Not going to lie, that was a tad stressful because I forgot just how quick stir fry cooks. So it's a little bit overcooked. I'll take you through what's in it in a moment because I need to go dish up and actually eat it. Um, but I've managed to get, um, basically all my veg chopped up and my, um, mushrooms and bacon and uh, I was gonna try and get more peppers in, but I don't think I have room <laughs> in that pot. So I'm just gonna go eat my lunch now. Okay, so here it is in all its glory, and I need to eat right now. Hey guys, so it is currently, it's half past eight at night. I can't believe it because it is light outside. <laughs> um, from going from a really horrible day today, this morning, and last night it has turned into a beautiful afternoon and evening, um, which is making it feel a lot earlier than it actually is. Now, I'm really glad that I did my prep earlier because mum came over and um, we're watching 90210 at the moment. <laughs> I've watched it before, obviously, but mum hasn't. So she is loving the drama. Um, and we actually watched three episodes today. Um, so that was quite a while. 
um, and then I've dropped her home and, and now I'm back home. Now, luckily what I thought of doing, and I'm glad I did, was all those vegetables that I chopped earlier, I had um, in the oven, just cooking slowly. So they are currently cooked and I just need to complete the dish. Okay, so here are the veggie balls and um, I did end up turning the oven off, but leaving it in there um, just because it, I didn't want, obviously, my veggies to burn. Now, what I was planning on doing was adding tin tomatoes and harissa paste um, before putting the cheese on top, but I don't have any harissa. I don't know how this has happened. It's like the most obvious paste. But no, I have many pastes, but not harissa. I've just realized that I'm mashing up the potatoes, which is not what I want to be doing. So um, I was just looking in my cupboard and, oh, it's out of date by quite a lot. Damn it. Okay, so this is actually probably okay. I'm going to give it a little sniff test in a minute. Um, but this is a can of um, fajito and taco sauce. Um which I've just looked at and it's expired by well over a year. However, it is in a can. So um, let's just have a look because this whole can is only four sins. So I thought that would be a really good thing to put on. Let me let me just see if it's actually okay. Okay, so I just, oh my God. <laughs> I just opened it and then threw it all over myself, but um, it looks absolutely fine. I've just like Googled the hell out of it and it says everything's fine. As long as there's no mold, which there isn't and there's no damage to the can, which there isn't. Um, it looks absolutely fine and it smells really really nice so um i'm just going to decant it into a different um like jar just in case there's anything wrong with it i don't want to like ruin all my vegetables but i'm using this okay here it is and it actually smells really good so i am not afraid to use it it smells fine it looks fine and uh like i said the can wasn't damaged or anything like that so we are good to go and it's gonna be baked again anyway, so even if there was bacteria, which there isn't, because it was obviously sterile, otherwise it would have gone bad. Um, yeah, there we go, anyway, whatever. So I'm just gonna mix this in, maybe add a tin of tomatoes, I'll see how much juice there is. And then I'm gonna grate a load of cheese on the top. Guys, oh my God, it is delicious. <laughs> um, I am adding a tin of tomatoes as well, just to um, break it up a bit, but my god that is so tasty that sauce i'm gonna buy that again and actually use it this time <laughs> okay also since we've committed to the kind of i guess mexican route now um i've added in a tin of kidney beans and a tin of black beans for protein and fiber and this makes it a complete meal in a dish which is good because that makes life nice and easy i feel like this is quite overcooked actually, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna put it back in the oven, obviously, because I just want the um, the beans and the sauces to all kind of come together. But, um, and obviously the cheese to melt on top when I put it on in a moment, but apart from that, look at that, good to go, man. Yum, and it smells so good, that sauce, I don't know what they've got in it, but it smells really good. 120 grams of vegan cheese on top, which is the equivalent of four healthy extra A choices. I suspect, that I will eat half of this for my dinner tonight, which means it's my two healthy extra A choices for the day. Um, but obviously apart from that, the only sins is the um, sauce, which was four sins for the entire can. And um, I used fry light on the veg when I put them in the oven. So everything else was sin free. So it's literally four sins in this whole dish and the equivalent of four healthy extra A's. Oh my God, guys. This looks good and it smells amazing, amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I did set the timer for 20 minutes at 180, um, but I didn't hear the timer go off and I think it's been more like 50 minutes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, either way, I'm not complaining. Um, oh my God, it smells so good. I mean, it kind of looks like pig swill, but I mean, oh, the smell, guys, the smell. Um, this is actually half of what was in that dish. Well, probably just a little bit under because um, I couldn't quite tell. And I didn't want to like scrape out from under this side and shortchange those portions. <laughs> so um, this is both my healthy extra A's, two sins, a ton of speed, protein and fiber from the beans and carbs from the potato. 
Yeah. Hey guys, so it's the end of the day. Um, my dinner was really delicious, like really good. I'm definitely gonna buy that sauce again because it was so nice. Even though it was, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a bit wheezy. Even though it was like, um, I had the tin of tomatoes in there as well. And there was obviously quite a lot of like veg and beans for it to get through. Like it was still really flavoursome. So for four sins, I think that was brilliant. So yeah, I'll definitely get that one again. Assuming they still sell it. <laughs> um, anyway, I, as I said, I ate half of that um, uh, tray and I... Uh, that was two sins and then I've divided up the rest into two pots so they're one sin plus one healthy extra each. Um, now uh, I did tell you guys earlier that I was going to tell you how many sins were in my stir fry and the answer was nine um, but I've been working on a little something. I'm just going to show you it looks it does look a bit of a mess um, and in fact let me just cover up that other half because then it will look a bit better I think. Um, but yeah let me show you so um i mentioned the other day about my food diary maybe not being quite as fit for purpose as it could be just because there was quite a lot of space that i don't use in it etc etc and um so it's been on my mind to try like um doing bullet journal pages for it for a while so i was playing around today and um this is the kind of basic sorry about the shadow but this is the kind of basic layout now um, this one doesn't look fantastic because I used some beautiful stickers, but the problem is they are kind of shoved on at random. Um, so, um, I mean, it's still fine. I still like it. Um, but yeah, so I'm quite pleased with this kind of format. So a big area for speed foods, although today's... Um, because I don't write out all the stir fry veg that's in that pack so actually and then I didn't really need to <laughs> cram all that up together I could have could have made it look a little bit better but whatever that's fine so a big speed area and then smaller areas for free and sinned food um obviously sins um, maybe maybe what I could do with the sins is just make a little extra column for the number of sins that would actually probably make it look a bit neater as well um healthy extra section and then um Obviously, I get 25 up to 25 sins a day. So um, that's a perfect five by five box. So um, obviously, that lends itself nicely to that. And um, oh, come on. Oh, and uh, yeah, I just used like um, one of my little dot markers to, to mark that off. So I thought that worked quite well. Um, oh, it's such a shame that the light in here is so dim because like you can't see how cute like see the washi tape well they're not it's, it's stickers but it's it's washi stickers so they're very very thin and delicate stickers from like this ocean pack that I've got cute right anyway obviously I use my letter stamps and that to do the titles and I drew a little box at the top because um I really hate like writing like everything down and I don't like in the fabulous planning ones they don't have like a total space for your sins like so they're a bit like this in that you can mark them off although obviously they don't cater for people who have 25 sins so I think they got up to like 19 or 20 on their pages and so that's great for like um normal people <laughs> but for massive people like me it's um doesn't really work so um but the point is either way um you don't sort of get that nice visual thing so I like the idea of at the top of the page just having a summary that's really easy to see and then also I've got this little summary box for how good or bad I feel the day went so rather than an on plan off plan have like a you know a happy a medium or a sad face um depending on how I did so um which I, I really like and then the other thing that this ended up being a summary box because I was like I like sometimes I like writing down the meals I had but sometimes I can't really be bothered like the I don't feel the need to separate these things into like meal times um but then I thought well if I'm not separating them into meal times then it's nice to be able to see the meals I had but then I also wanted a place to like write down any like thoughts or feelings I had about the day if I wanted to like I don't want any I don't like these defined areas for you know like a, a daily reflection um were you on plan or off plan um what were the meals that you had 
um, all the rest of it. Like, so what I did was make what I've called a summary, which is really a daily summary. And in there I can put, if I want to, I can mention the meals I've had. So like I've done today, I've put in, I mean, I was obviously just playing around with this really, but, um, you know, put, had my stir fry for lunch and this veg bake thing for tea. And then I've just had a little bullet point, like pretty good day, pleased with my food. So that's nice. That's like a little thought and feeling. If I wanted to put any more in there, I absolutely can. Or I can just leave it with nothing in there. It doesn't really matter. But it, the point is, it's a little flexible area, which I really like, rather than having all these defined things. Um, because that's great sometimes, but it's not great all the time. So it's trying to find a layout that was like a little bit more suited to me. And I think, I think with these boxes, I've hit that. For me, it may not work for everyone. Um, but the key points are there. And, and that is the fact that, you know, you've got your, your sins tracked, essentially. I mean, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Is making sure you don't go over any sins. But anyway, so then I was playing around, um, obviously I did today's, but then I was playing around with a few other layouts. Now <laughs> this one, <laughs> this one looks a mess. Hang on, let me put that on the other side so that you can sort of see it on its own. It, it does look a mess with them next to each other. So this, again, it's such a shame the lighting in here is so awful because um, these are actually beautiful transfers. I don't know why the lighting is so bad. Oh, 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 there we go. We've focused a lot more. No, no, we're not. Come on, focus. Focus. Oh my God, this thing hates me. Anyway, these things are beautiful, beautiful transfers, you know, where you scrape the back of the paper. But I mucked up the writing because I wrote it in and then I was like, oh no, I don't like that. So then I had to stamp over it and it just didn't work. But it doesn't matter. Um, so this page is like a beachy theme, but then I was like, oh, let's make the, try and play around with how I might, you know, want to do the boxes. Because the point is by having those sections, you can sort of then play around with, they can go anywhere on the page. Um, and that's when you can start to make it quite fun and creative, which as you guys know, is the bit that I enjoy. And then I ended up with this monstrosity of a mess. So <laughs> I did this like bunting for sins to fill in. So there's 25 little flags to fill in up to 25 sins. Come on, this thing is just, I don't know if it's like trying to compensate for the dim light. I think it, I think that's what it's doing. Um, there we go. So yeah, I don't pick it up again because it'll muck it up. But anyway, so yeah, this is beautiful smooth transfers. It's such a shame that you can't really tell and you can't even sit, yeah, okay, whatever. Anyway, um, but I didn't really sort of leave room for the boxes properly. So I made them into these kind of Polaroid things that didn't really look very good, but there is potential in that idea. So I'm not sad about it. It does look a bit of a mess, but you do get the kind of lovely beachy theme coming across. So I don't mind. Um, and it was just fun to sort of see, you know, the page might get laid out differently. So then I've just done a few pages in advance, really basic pages just to get some down um, with slightly different layouts on each page, just to sort of play around with the spacing and see what the options are. Oh my God, why will this not focus? Look, I'll go here. Oh, okay, I'll shut up then. Um, so. I decided that I definitely like those summary boxes at the top of the page um, and the speed box and the free boxes should be the biggest. However, sins, because I sort of tend to have, you know, lots of little things for sins, um, I do like a bigger box, but then I was like, well, it feels so wrong having a massive box for sins. So like I said, I was just sort of playing around with the amount of space I had and things like that, playing just very slightly varying it. I've just done minimal decoration with a bit of washi tape and I just kept them color coordinated pages. So obviously we've got a nice purple page with these rounded boxes and sort of laid out here. And then um, a pinky page, again, just slightly differently laid out. I was also trying with vertical and horizontal things. And then a green and a yellow page with different buntings at the top because, you know, it's just fun to do different washi tapes, really. <laughs> Although um, this particular journal is um, a very bright white page. So although the washi tapes are uh, white as well, it makes it look cream almost, the background of that bunting one. Um, 
the difference isn't actually as visible <laughs> in person as it's showing up on camera but either way it, do, it does look a little bit better in person on camera but anyway yeah so then then I played around just with these very similar layouts here like for example at this point I then got rid of the healthy extra heading because there's no need to have it I know what A's and B's are um but I do like labeling the summary box I like having this 25 uh, thing for marking off sins I think that's important but then also it's nice to write down what your sins were which is why I've got those two um, and the you know overall happy and overall sins for the day so I think that's like this is like a really good basic layout that I actually think is going to work quite well um, and then moving on from that I'll be able to sort of expand it and decorate it and play around with the shape and the size of the boxes but these are the key elements for me that I want to have on my page um, having the ability just to add a little note about the day or to put the names of the meals that you had or you know I don't know anything else weigh stuff you know that that's all um it's nice to have that option but only in the one space so that you're not always having because that's what I hate is always having all these different blank boxes if you don't use them I, just, I find it really annoying um and then this one I don't know why I did cap oh I've left off the d <laughs> um I don't know why I went for capitals and also I've shut the bloody book too quick haven't I what an idiot I forgot how pigmented this black is um but yeah I don't know why I went all caps and black because I wanted to just to do a black uh, layout just to see what it looked like but I should have kept with the lowercase because just it being in lowercase looks so much softer um, so yeah I should have gone lowercase and black really but hey ho um, and now that's transferred across so that looks all right mess but that's okay because the point is these I wanted to keep with no color on so that they're kind of free to decorate if you see what I mean um, and the thing is, I don't need to do them too far in advance because um, part of the thing that I like about this stuff is actually doing the creative part of it, like decorating and stuff like that and playing around with it. And the nice thing about this is that I get one to do every day. So that's really good. Um, but I like, I quite like the idea as well of, you know, setting up a few days in advance and then just having it there to decorate, like if I want to. Or these are really good example layouts of, they don't need anything else added if I wanted to I could but this is a really quick layout to chuck in there um I like the non-ruled lines personally um I think they look uh cute <laughs> um but sometimes I like ruled lines but um yeah it very much depends but but I just I like the sort of free-flowingness of it I don't know whatever um, so yeah, these first two pages look a little bit of a, a higgledy mess, um, but again, it's just about playing around with it. But yeah, I really like this idea, and again, I think sort of doing this in a bullet journal mode will probably encourage me to want to write stuff down, you know, because it, it's just that feeling of, <laughs> I can't leave it blank. Um, and this is a, a bullet journal that I had, it was a spare one that I had, because, um, I have a couple <laughs> spare um but this one's quite a nice one it's um uh got this nice mountain and sun on the front which i thought was sweet it's very orange it's less orange in real life than it is showing up on the camera by the way um but yeah so i've got plenty of room to do cover pages and stuff and i, I was um sort of uh so this is like going to be the cover page so cover image and a nice quote to set nice intentions big old weight loss graph on these double spread here um uh, this will be a page uh to i'm gonna do little stickers of the awards as i earn them so much like on the back of my actual slimming world book but what i'll do in here is pictures of my certificates um this is for any trackers that i want to have that kind of go month to month um or i don't know i wasn't really sure what i would use this for but i just thought I'd leave it and then we've got July so much like any other journals that I do because I do have a few on the go now for different things which I love <laughs> um but nice cover page quote page to set you know set intentions and good feelings for the month and then this will be like a summary page so a little bit like uh, my reading journal so 
um you know some of it will be filled out at the beginning of the month and then some of it will be at the end like you know how many days were on within sins how many uh, sins on average per day stuff like that so just a nice little summary page um and then straight into it and then that will repeat month on month and um, the other thing I thought of was actually I think this would probably lend itself quite well to Dutch door layout but I haven't sort of thought about that yet I just wanted to get my basic functionality obviously down first and then see where we go from there so yeah I think this is probably the best example page of how it all work best as well as these these two are also good options you see how I've just laid them all out just very slightly differently um just to sort of see what the different options are you know should I be feeling creative and want to experiment a lot with uh, decoration and stuff um you know there's there's different ways that I can incorporate that based on the different sort of types of layouts so yeah anyway let, let me know what you guys think of that as a good alternative um I like it because as I said this is um <sighs> just a good summary so anyway should we actually talk through today <laughs> obviously I had my stir fry for lunch and my veggie bake thing for tea um as I said I've got two portions of veggie bake left which are a quarter of it each I ate half of it for my tea um I also actually ended up having a whole meal pitta for tea as well which is why I'm absolutely stuffed still even though it was a couple of hours ago um but I used it just to mop up some of that delicious sauce um because it was just oh my god it was so good like it's making mouth water thinking about the flavor of it it was so nice um so I'm finishing on 23 and a half sins, but the main reason for that is because um, I had loads of sins left and I really wanted hot chocolate. So I had large hot chocolate. Um, I'm now having a cup of tea as well. It's just a, um, a herbal tea, my nighttime tea, pucker nighttime tea. Um, anyway, so my stiff, oh my God, will you focus? Right, so my stir fry pouch, uh, the rice pouch was one and a half sins. I had two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce, that's three sins. One teaspoon of sesame oil, which is two sins. I had three sprays of my, you know, my light olive oil spray thing um, uh, for three sins uh, to, to get the veg going. And then I had sesame oil in later and I had soy sauce in there as well. Um, and that was it for uh, sins wise for lunch. And I also had two coffees today, which is two sins for 200 mils of my barista this what is going on with the focus i'm so sorry guys it's just like everything's blurred except for like a tiny little pinprick in the middle right. um so yeah um sorry to ramble at the end there sorry about the like slightly disjointed video um but there we go <laughs> so finishing on 23 and a half sins um and i'll see you guys tomorrow and i hope you have a really good evening i hope, blah, 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 blah. hope you've had a lovely weekend and that you get a good night's sleep before work tomorrow if you have work tomorrow and if you don't enjoy not working tomorrow <laughs> okay um thanks for watching bye